that you might find useful on your field trip. <clears throat> Mom, it's just a little hike in the forest with my class. It's not a survival course. I hear you, sweetie, but you might run into some dangerous creatures. Seriously, stop worrying about me. Will you at least take my wand with you? <laughs> sure. Like I have a choice. Look at this beautiful tree. Can anybody tell me what it's called? Oh, oh, oh. It's an oak tree. Correct. More specifically, it's a Kirkus Petraea. Not to be confused with Kirkus Variabilis. Uh, it's Maureen. Asian counterpart. Maureen. Uh, thank you, Maureen. Hey. If Captain Dragon were here, he'd just throw her into a time warp or a black hole or something. <laughs> ah, what was that? <laughs> ah, what was that? <laughs> He's a little coward. <laughs> You're wrong. I'm no coward. You would jump too if you were grazed by a wild boar, okay? A wild boar? You sure? Or was it the infamous Big Bad Wolf on the hunt and hungry for Tom? Huh. Good one, Victor. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> <laughs> coward! <laughs> <laughs> Just wait, you'll see which one of us is really afraid of the Big Bad Wolf. Wolf, let's growl. It's time to growl, snarl, and howl! Pick me, pick me, please, Miss Tinker. Oh no! Why the long face? You all right? It's been a rough season for me, Tom. I'm down and out. Can't bring myself to hunt kids. But I summoned you here to scare one of the guys in my class. No can do. It's been a long time since I spooked anyone. anymore because they've memorized all your tricks. But nobody in the real world even believes you exist. They're gonna be super terrified. You think so? Yeah, I know so. But don't try anything. You're only here to scare kids, not eat them, okay? Oh yeah, let's do this, Tom. Our forests are made up of leafy and resinous groups. Huh? Hey, wait! By no, my bag! That one's a coastal redwood or California redwood, miss. It's a sequoia from the Cypress family, formally classified under the Taxodiaceae family. Miss Tinker! I saw a wolf standing on his hind legs. He had these giant teeth and he started growling at me. The tables have turned. Who's scared of the big bad wolf now? <laughs> <laughs> You've been reading fairy tales? <laughs> Wolves haven't lived in this region for a hundred years, Victor. I'm afraid huh? that's not quite accurate, Miss Tinker. My handbook says wolves sometimes repopulate the forest near yeah, city. Seriously? Oh, well, yes, that's true. Thanks, Maureen. Now, everyone, let's keep moving. Hey, hey Tom. Ha hmm? <laughs> Thanks. You did a great job. Oh, thank you, Tom. Hearing that kid's terrified yell really took me back. <laughs> Anyway, it was awesome to see you again, man. Seriously. <laughs> 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 
You're finished already? But you tangled them in front of my nose! Uh, I'm really sorry, but nobody in this world can find out that you exist. They just can't. I understand. You're selfish. You're done with me now, so you're sending me away like a stray. No, it's just... You're not the boss of me. After all, I'm the big bad wolf! initiative, Tom. What? That's weird. These flowers aren't listed in my handbook. Ooh. Dog. Everyone stay here. I'll be right back. Miss Tinker, don't go, please! It's dangerous! Where are you going, Tom? Our teacher might need someone to help her! Oh, oh sweet. My buddy's braver than the great Captain Dragon. And you, you haven't even budged, you big chicken. There, there, now. It's all right. You must be lost. What a poor, poor little puppy dog. Huh? Hey, where's Miss Tinker? She was here two seconds ago. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's strange. When did it get so dark out? <gasps> What's wrong? He said that I couldn't eat kids, and this one's not a kid. Sure, no hood, but she has red lipstick. <gasps> Poor Miss Tinker! Huh? What have you done? You. Miss <laughs> 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 Tinker, are, are you, you okay? okay? Hmm? <sighs> <gasps> 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 Is that you, Miss Tinker? Little children. Hi! I see you! Again. Wow, nice one, Miss Tinker. We all thought you were a wolf. Huh. 
I knew it was her the whole time. It was obvious. Oh, really? What about when you were trembling with fear? <laughs> In your dreams, I fear nothing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Geometries used to build all kinds of things, including houses. Psst. What do you think of my genius invention? You pedal to propel it. Ha! Pedals, what a joke. Let's build a rocket. This one is Jojo Propulsion. Uh... You want to talk, Jojo? Then why don't you come up here to do it? Can you tell the whole class what we call the type of triangle that has equal sides? Um, I know, Miss Tinker. Ask me. Come on, it's easy. Equilateral. <laughs> Equatorial? <laughs> <laughs> it's called equilateral from the Latin equilateralis. Very good, Maureen. Be careful now, Jojo. If you don't apply yourself, you could fall to the bottom of the class. No way. Don't forget about your projects for the science fair. You have two days left to finish your invention. Being at the bottom of the class is my thing, dork. There can't be two of us. So you better start applying yourself or there'll be trouble. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to get a really good mark on our science project, and then your grade will be bumped up. Let's see your idea for our invention. Okay, over here is the kitchen. It's got a popcorn machine. And over here is the zero-gravity basketball hoop. And this is the exact same cockpit that Captain Dragon uses. That's no good, Jojo. We'll never be able to build it. Yeah, you're right. I'm not smart. I wasn't saying that. Come on, Jojo. There are tons of other subjects that you're great at, you know? Really? Like what? Uh, hang on, let's see. Um, I mean, you're awesome at imagining cool stuff and... And you're really good at, uh, well, actually not that, but, uh, you've always been a natural at, uh, never mind. Told ya, I'm just hopeless. We're gonna get a zero. I'll be last in class. Victor will get mad and beat me up, and then my parents will ground me. I wish a superhero would swoop in and save the day. Uh, don't worry, Jojo. We don't need a superhero to keep away the zeros. <laughs> Give my friend a head start. Make him ultra skilled and smart. Huh? Wow. Hey, did you just do this math? Shh. Don't distract me. Hey, you little troll. Did you eat my chocolate flavored, chocolate free chocolate bar? It was right here in my bag. No, why would I? You blame me for everything. Hmm. The hole in your school bag is too small for a human hand, which means the culprit's height must be less than 30 centimeters. Ordinarily, this white hair would suggest that it's a mammal, but the texture is synthetic, which suggests that it came from someone's wig. It also places your pet toad as the number one suspect, as does the chocolate on its face and hands. <laughs> that was weird even for Jojo. Looks like he's been watching his detective shows. <laughs> You want to play? There's no time to play, Tom. I've got science homework to finish.
mind. I have adjustments to make. I'll see you at school, signed Jojo. Now then, Victor, what's the name of your invention? They're called the Troller Skates of Doom. They operate on pyrotechnical bionic energy. <laughs> <laughs> More like pyrotechnical moronic energy. Wow, your rocket looks sweet. You built this whole thing? Affirmative. <laughs> Is that big ugly tin actually supposed to fly? Just wait, your victory's gonna fly away with that tin can. Your reign ends today. Come! Help! No! What's my pet toad doing inside your rocket? Use your head, Tom. What's the life of a simple toad when it comes to the advancement of technology? <laughs> your Highness! Are you all right? Tom, finish saying your goodbyes. The galaxy awaits us. Okay, I'm getting sick of this. I'm changing you back to the real Jojo. What are you going to do with that baton? This smarter Jojo's not my friend. Make him like himself again! <laughs> My head hurts and I feel funny. It's like I've been thinking too much. Ah, so it worked. I missed you. <laughs> Rocket launch initiated. Five, yeah. four, three. <laughs> well, at least two, we know it's really you. One. <laughs> dream ever. We flew up into space in our rocket. Ah, I wasn't dreaming! <laughs> hey, you know how to pilot this rocket, don't you? Is that a joke? I can barely ride a two-wheeler. Jojo, calm down, okay? Huh? Ah! You gotta turn it around! We're gonna crash right into the moon! Sorry, I can't! Maker. This is the central cabin, and this is the automatic pilot switch. Automatic, automatic pilot, pilot switch? switch? <laughs> you win! Destination canceled. Your return to Earth has been programmed. You just saved us, Jojo! You're a genius! Tom, 
Jojo, it's time to show everybody your invention. <laughs> Please don't tell me that it's this thing. Our rocket went to space, Miss Tinker. We almost hit the moon. Ask Tom. He was with me the entire time. <laughs> Actually, Jojo was so tired from working on our project that he fell asleep and had a crazy dream. It's not a rocket. It's a really high-tech popcorn distributor. Just watch. You press the button and... A plus. Wait, does that mean we didn't build a flying rocket? No way, man. I think you were just spacing out as usual. <laughs> Perfect. You missed a spot. Oh, thanks, Mr. Moose. You had to say something. Hey, uh, Mom, it's Halloween, not Valentine's Day. I hope you're not leaving the house like that. You'll give the other kids a fright. Well, yeah, that's kind of the point of Halloween. But I think it's much nicer to not be scared, don't you? Back me up, dear. Of course, dear, of course. I'll be working at the magic store tonight if you need me. Is Tom home? Yep, he's inside. Ready to face your worst nightmare? Hey, is that your cousin in there? Whoa, cool costume, looks real. I still can't believe you're making me go with these trolls. I am way too mature to go trick-or-treating. You just need to get in the spirit. Why don't you try on this gown? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Halloween, it's my favorite day of the year. Today, witches run the world. Mira, how great do I look? Uh, uh -huh. Ah. Phew, that was a close one. <gasps> Leave him to me! Trick or treat, smell my feet! <laughs> Teach me how to celebrate Halloween. Sorry, there's no time for that. There's cauldrons to stir and kids to frighten. I'll do anything you want! Hmm. I promise, pretty please? Hmm. Are you ready to scare the living daylights out of little children? Ready to show no mercy, even when they're sobbing in sheer terror? Ready to transform into a monster? Yes, but maybe we could tone it down just a little bit? <laughs> well, you're hopeless. You see, those annoying little brats just love being scared. The more spooked the little squirts are, the more fun they have. Oh, wow. In that case, let's give them the fright of their lives. <laughs> No, you can't talk me into scaring those poor kids. And I'm not dressing as an ogre. I'm putting my foot down. But you're the only one who's big enough for the costume, Gregor. Not all ogres are monsters, you know. Some of them are vegetarian. Yes, and some would be happy to replace you if you don't want this gig. Mm -hmm. The more terrifying you are, the more costumes I sell. Now back to work. Ah! Thank you! What? That's not cool! Why do you keep on getting more candy than me? Hmm? There you go. Now it's even and nobody has to argue. You're welcome. <laughs> Try these on for size. <laughs> hey, much better. All right. It's time for you to try cackling. Oh! <laughs> Pathetic. Is there anything in this world that makes you so angry you could spit? People who are really mean? Very good. And when you meet one of these really awful people, what do you want to do to them? Show them how to be nice. Ugh. Ugh. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, your turn. Uh. <laughs> Needs more evil. <laughs> now more ferocious. <laughs> oh, I did it! Thank you so much, Ferocia! 
Hey, pleasure's mine, sis. Daddy, I think that man has a sore throat. Here, this'll cheer you up. Don't mind him. It's his first day and he's nervous. And it'll be your last day here if you don't start trying harder. Gregor the grossest at your service. <gasps> hey, Mom, we're back early. That's uh, weird. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mom, are you there? Tom, what's your problem? Behind <laughs> you! Seriously? Come on, it's just your imagination, you big babies. Huh? Uh, Aunt Ferocia, are you okay? Is your mother? I think she's been possessed by the spirit of an evil witch. I'm so scared. Oh, she's here. She went upstairs. Didn't I tell you that witches exist? See? There's only one witch in this house, and she lost all her evil powers. We'll keep a lookout. You should go upstairs just to be safe. Hmm. Some ogres aren't so bad. Huh? Except for when they're hungry! But not tonight. I've got indigestion. That last kid that I ate must not have been very fresh. Dad, he's the only one who can help us now. <laughs> it's only me. Don't worry, kids. I can help you. <laughs> help me! scared myself a little. Of course not, Willow. It was perfect. But you could probably take it further. Really? Yeah, this is your chance to stir the pot. Show the little cowards you've got guts. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't mean to spook you out. I can't take it anymore! Has everyone gone crazy? Hmm? What happened, kids? It's Mom! I think she's possessed by a seriously evil witch! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Trick or treat! <laughs> Jojo, give her all your candy. Come on, quickly. Leprechauns don't just throw away their gold. <laughs> Dad, please, you're our only hope. You've got to do something. <laughs> uh, hi there, honey. Why don't you come inside to talk? You must be getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> I think I finally understand what's so funny about 
are so terrifying. Bravo! Hey, Mom, so are you still possessed? Oh, of course not, sweetie. It was just a little Halloween prank. You were shaking in your boots, right? Mm, <laughs> what? No, we knew it was all fake. We were just pretending, you know, for fun. Wow, your family's really good at Halloween. Almost too good. Now, who wants their picture taken with the big mean ogre? We have a two for one deal. Ooh. Me first! What a fun day. Ferocious to thank, you know. The whole possessed witch joke was her idea. Isn't that cool? Plato is backhand, Tom. Listen to your coach! He knows what's up! <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for the tournament. You're gonna get flattened! <laughs> our defeats teach us to be our best selves, and there's nowhere to go but up after losing 11 to 0, right, son? I'm sick of losing. On the bright side, at least you make your opponents look good. Thanks, Mom. I feel way better now. Take heart, Tom. Excelling in athletics requires patience and perseverance. Nobody can turn into a champion overnight. I know, but the table tennis tournament's tomorrow. Another reason why you shouldn't throw in the towel. <laughs> <laughs> Pass me the wrench, please. Oh, of course, my beauty. Here. If you're that worried, then why don't you just coach Tom yourself? I bet it would give him more confidence. I'm not so sure about that, honeydew. I don't know the rules, and I've never even held a paddle before. Oh, <laughs> you have a special talent for making life more complicated than it needs to be. Isn't that what they call cheating in the real world? No, it's only cheating if it's schoolwork. And having a good instructor will keep Tom motivated. Hmm. What's with the crazy costume? This here's my special table tennis training outfit. Then what experience do you have, Gregor? I was the champion of mm, troll tennis back in the fairy world. It's almost the same thing. Tell me, Gregor, why are you only sharing this shining achievement with us now? Oh, you know me. I don't really like to brag. Anyway, let's get moving. You have a tournament to win. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. He thinks he'll do better because he's the kid's dad. Ha, <laughs> good luck. Okay, we're going to start slow. I'll serve the ball to you gently. And you'll return it to me. Ready? Mm-hmm. Ha! <laughs> Good, and now you try serving. <laughs> Listen, son. The ball's like a baby animal. You need to caress it, not just hit it. It's cute, see? I could take you down blindfolded, standing on one leg. Why not just forfeit? Ah! Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? If you're so good, Victor, how about you try to beat me? Bring it on. Ha! You should have forfeited too bad! Are you happy now? Your server mine, Dad! Wow, that was seriously awesome! Can I have a rematch? I guess you didn't learn your lesson! Get out of the way, noob! <laughs> 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 How'd the training go, my future champion? 
I had a little bit of a shaky start, but after the second or third smash, I was unstoppable. And guess what? I just signed up for the tournament. Mom was talking to Tom, not you. Hmm. Oh. You should try professional blundering. You'd break the world record. I'm not the expert here, but doesn't the trainer usually train his students instead of participating? Well, he's learning by example, don't you see? My methods get results. It'll fall into place. Want me to help you fall? <laughs> My dad's a champion. I bet he's ashamed to have a son who's so bad at table tennis. Don't let it bother you. Every brilliant athlete faces hardship. There's no magic shortcut to success. Hmm? Thanks, but I think using magic's the only way to make him proud. Don't do it. That would be cheating. The important thing is to have... Um... Yeah, you're the best, sweetie. Go get him. Oh, hmm? I'm sorry. Are you still upset with me? Of course not. You helped me get motivated. Ha-ha! <laughs> Great attitude. It's all about your mindset. The tournament's about to begin. Get your paddles ready. Come on, you've got this, dear. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I never thought you'd make it this far, son. Hmm? Hmm? I mean, uh, I was just uh, wondering how you did it. Well, I caressed the ball, like you told me to yesterday. I can let you win this if you want. Hmm? Uh, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Come on, you little brat. Send that ogre back to the swamp. Hmm. <laughs> 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 uh -oh. Are you rooting for Tom or for Dad? I'm not choosing sides. I'm cheering for them both. Yeah, you're the best!
Hey, your highness, are they all yelling you're on fire or you're a liar? I presume you're regretting your choice. Dad's gonna lecture me. Our defeats teach us to be our best selves, Tom. And sometimes winning does the opposite. Hey, Dad, are you mad at me? Of course not, Tom. If anything, I'm the one to blame here. I'll tell you why. <sighs> Truth is, we made the same mistake. I might have used a little bit of magic. You did? I cheated, but only because I wanted you to be proud of yourself. And I only cheated because I wanted to make you proud. Funny how that works. Oh. Hey, don't forget, we have a match point and I'm ready to strike. Okay, but no cheating for this one. Now, prepare to be released from your expertise. Abracadabra! <laughs> Sorry, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you need a two-point lead to win the match? At this rate, we'll be here all night long. <laughs> My battery's dying. Keep trying! <laughs> I'm down, it's just a little like me. How's it possible to be that big of a chicken? Sorry, Auntie, I thought you were a monster! Huh, that's no reason to get goose flesh. At your age, I was already braving dragons, trolls, and angry mobs. But everyone's afraid of something, you know. Huh? Well, not me. <laughs> little Wes. My nephew is a lily-livered coward. It's embarrassing. If I give him one big scare, it might cure him of his gutlessness. Speaking of scary, weren't you named best ghost back at the haunted swamps? It's true that I had a certain talent in the days before I was vitrified, but I'm tired of inspiring fear, and Tom is much too young. Here's my offer. A ticket to the Bahamas. Ooh, it's tempting. Though, just think of the poor child. Well, you know, it's either that, or you're going in a yard sale. No, I suppose I must. So be it. And you're out. <laughs> now that I've been freed, what's keeping me here? Well then, are you ready to cooperate? Hmm. We can top that. Poor boy, he seems so terrified. Quit feeling sorry for yourself, your vacay awaits. Ah. Tom, enough horsing around. Eat your gazpacho. But Dad, there was a monster in it! <laughs> that kid's imagination is something. How you feeling? Ah! Well, I strengthened his vocal cords at least. I gave it my best try. Yeah, right. Instead of getting less scared, he's getting more scared. Go back in the glass, quitter. I scared him. I held up my end of the bargain. No, you didn't finish carrying out my orders. You were supposed to cure him of his fear. You're the worst, and you don't deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> You made a promise! Since when do I keep my promises? Sorry, get lost. Hmm. Hmm? Mom, hurry up! If I miss Beyond Crazy's concert, you're no longer my mother! 
Uh, don't worry, sweetie, I'm coming. <laughs> we'll be home late. If you need something, don't be shy, all right? Just wake up Ferocia. Yeah, she doesn't mind. Who's calling this late? <sighs> Hello? Ferocia. Yeah? What do you want from me? I'm coming for you. You don't know who you're messing with! <laughs> Guess the power's on the fritz again. Hmm? Tom, is that you? I think I need to relax, man. Ha! The Sparks of Passion, season 28. Gloria, I have something to say. Jimmy, you're scaring me. Just tell me what's happening. Finally, it is time for me to reveal my secret, Gloria. Hmm? Huh? I can't. He's much too... Powerful. What's happening? There's an evil ghost. Oh, what a bunch of hooey. You created a portal. An another ghost escaped. He's terrible. Where'd you go? Uh, come back. If this is a joke, it's not funny. And I know the name of my next victim. Ferozia. Stopping the house. I knew it. There was a ghost trapped in my gazpacho. Huh. But I'm not a coward. We'll confront him. Right, Auntie? Of course we will. He's going to get what's coming to him. We can't let some bedsheet wearing pest boss us around. Yeah, totally. Now's the perfect time to test your courage, kid. Okay, but please don't leave me alone. Uh, I would never. <laughs> He's possessing the television. <laughs> I'm right behind you. It's gone. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm made of steel. <laughs> anyway, it'll take more than that to scare me. <laughs> you... Uh, uh, you have to keep your head on straight, all right? I... I'm not... panicking! You can panic now.
Coming for you. Hmm. Uh -huh. hey, traitor! Come on! How could you do this to me? Ah, you know where you can fake, eh, right? Yes, of course. Back in the glass. Hmm? Nighty night, Ferocia. Sweet dreams. Feelings, I hope. <laughs> Is it all right if I sleep in here tonight? Hmm. Hey, I'm not afraid. It's just, uh, you made a giant mess in my room. Yeah, sure. But just for tonight, okay? <laughs> At last. 